Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to recreate this sultry, deep burgundy, blue and gold smoky. I wish I had a fancy name for this look, but I really don't know what to call it. The model I am using to apply the makeup in this video is one of my closest friends, Farella. Make sure you watch the video till the end to find out how you can win the palette I use in this tutorial. I really hope you enjoy the video, and now let's begin. To start this look off, I will be applying an eyeshadow base all over Farella's eyelid to help the eyeshadow last longer, and to help prevent the colored pencils I will be applying later from creasing. You don't have to use the color pencils I'm going to be using, it's not necessary, I just love them because they really do help intensify your eyeshadow colors. So the first pencil I will be applying is called Rust by NYX. I apply it to the crease and lower lash line using a brush to blend it out. And I poked Pharrell's eye while doing this, so be careful if you're doing it to somebody else because you might poke them in the eye. I was having a really hard time with the lighting in this video, it was just looking too dark most of the time. Um, but right now I'm going to take NYX Wicked Dreams palette and I apply the lighter brown shadow into the crease blending it up toward the brow bone. This color looks like a lighter brown color like I said and it looks like it has like pink undertones to it. Then again, I might just have bad vision, I don't know. But th that's what it looks like to me, I'm really bad at describing colors. Now I apply the burgundy shadow from the NYX palette directly to the crease and along the lower lash line. This is my favorite color from that palette. Like I said, it's a burgundy shadow. It kind of leans more toward the purple side. It's really pretty. And you know what? I'm just going to start describing shadows like that. You take a pretty color and you put it in your crease. You take a nice color and you put it around your dew duct. And then you guys won't know what the heck I'm talking about. You'll probably make videos of yourself booing me as video responses. <laughs> Near the inner corner of the eye, blending it up toward the beginning of the brow and the beginning of the lower lash line, I apply an orange bronze shadow. Um, and you don't have to apply it to the brow, I only do that because I like the way it looks in pictures. Like when it's just the eye picture, I like the way that the shadow looks when it's blended into the brow. You don't have to do that stuff. Now into the inner corner of the eyelid, I apply NYX Jumbo Pencil in Peacock, and then to the outer corner, I apply NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black. I use my finger to blend these two pencils together. Once I've blended out the pencils, I apply a black shadow over the black pencil, and they're really close to the lower lash line. You want to make sure you pack this color on. You want it to be like as dark as you can get it. And then I apply a matte blue shadow over the peacock pencil. Make sure you blend the blue and black shadows together. Around the tear duct, I blend in this really nice nudish gold shadow. Really close to the lower lashes, I apply a glitter gold liquid liner. This really helps the eyes pop. It looks just really, really, really nice. Now use a black liquid liner to define your lash line, and then apply plenty of mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Then apply fake lashes if you like, and that's my favorite thing to do, so I apply them too. Um, Pharrell's eyelashes, or lash line. I forgot to mention, I used the nudish gold shadow as a brow bone highlight. And then finally, for the eyes, fill in your brows, if necessary, with a shadow or pencil a few shades darker than your hair color. Darker looks like this can wash out your brows, so filling them in with um, a shadow or pencil helps them stand out a bit more, and not like wash them out so much. But it's up to you, like I said. I applied a foundation a couple of shades darker than Pharrell's natural skin tone all over her face to help liven up the skin. I make sure I blend it down the neck and toward the ears so that the face is in a totally different color than the neck. And you don't want to go too dark because you will end up looking either orange or just like really blotchy. I applied a concealer below her eyes to help brighten up that area. I also used a concealer to conceal any imperfections the foundation missed. Next, 
highlight contour for Elle's cheekbones, and then I lightly dust whatever product is left on that brush all over her face. The contouring color I used is from MAC, it's called Blunt, it's a blush. You can also use that as a bronzer. On the cheeks, I apply a bronzer with shimmer to give a glow and highlight to the face. Now I use a lip liner to fill in and line her lips. I love this lip liner by NYX, it's my favorite lip liner. And then I top the lips off with a nude cream lipstick. I didn't know if I wanted to apply a blush at first, but once I got the lips done I realized it would look better with a blush, so I applied a coral blush to the apples of her cheeks. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. So this is Pharrell, she was the one in the video. Hi! We have known her for a really long time. Since she was six years old. Too long. She's 20 years old. <laughs> she's 20 years old now. <laughs> she's still across the street from us. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And people keep asking, like, if I'm sponsored by NYX. And no, I'm not. If you, like, have been watching my videos, you already know the answer to this, but if you haven't, last year I was in a competition held by NYX, and I was in the top six. The prize for being in the top six was a year's supply of NYX makeup, so I own a lot of NYX makeup now. Um, since I own so much, I own a lot of these palettes, so I'm going to be giving away three of the Wicked Dreams palettes, which is the eyeshadow I used on Ferella. and all you have to do is just comment below. Please try to comment just once, like, one comment per person. It doesn't matter what you comment, you can like hit the keyboard or say hey Bethany I don't care um yeah and I will announce the winner on my Instagram but I'll, I'll the three winners I'll announce it on my Instagram and I'll also like message them on YouTube because I know not everybody has an Instagram uh, maybe I'll just put on Instagram Twitter and my Facebook yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video is that it if you comment Becca is awesome you're more likely to win that's, that's not true. It's gonna be. That's not true at all. <laughs> yeah. So is that all I had to say? I thought I had to say something else, but I guess I know. Yeah. So take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.